Okay, so the first card is the mice, which says there's some discord amongst family and friends or friends. So there could be some problems going on. Uh, you know, after the Christmas season, there usually is some family issues that you need to sort through. So maybe there's some sorting out that you need to do as far as relationship goes uh, with family or friends. You've got the boot card over there. So increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So you need to start focusing back again on your career and uh, start making sure that you're putting the work into whatever it is you want to achieve. You've got the mountain road. So you are on the road to success. So even though there might it might seem very, very difficult, if you increase your efforts, you're bound to be successful at whatever it is you're you're trying to achieve uh, on the career front. You've got the ladder, so you are working your way up. You're trying very, it's taking time. It's a hard climb up, but you are getting there slowly. You've got the bird flying, so news is on the way. So you may have received some good news or, or some kind of news with regards to your career moves. Now, going into the future, you've got the scissors, disappointment in some affairs. So this, there's a need for you to cut out things that are not serving you. So if you're having some discord amongst friends or family, maybe you need to just cut that out of your life in order for you to move on. You you don't need that drama just to, uh, you know, um, have implications on your present life. So you need to cut that drama out. Uh, you need to actually... Uh, you know, start looking at things and looking at it from your point of view and you don't have to deal with any drama that is not serving you. So if it's not serving you, cut it out. Um, and you've got the flowers card of your happiness is coming. So once you make that decision of severing ties with people that are causing a lot of discord, it looks like happiness is coming in for you there. So, you know, you need that calm. Don't let anybody else's drama uh, bring you down. And if anybody's negative, these are people that you don't want to associate with, especially if you've got a bigger picture in your head and you know you need to move forward. Don't let other people's drama and other people's uh, problems bring you down. You need to cut them out of your life. Now, I'm going to just draw some cards from the Tarot Mucha. This is the main read. So, you've got the Seven of Pentacles over here at the bottom of the deck. Uh, the Queen of Cups, you've got the Ace of Rods over there, and you've got uh, this King of Rods there. So, uh, you know, this is about you taking control. It seems like there's some kind of leadership position being offered to you, or there's some kind of new project being offered to you. Um, it's definitely on the business front because this King of Rods is all about business. It's about work, and he's offering a new project to you, and you might be in a position of leadership, or you might be heading a project. It's certainly going to bring in a lot of stability and wealth for you there, uh, but you need to make that decision and accept it. So it's a really good project. There might be some travel that even comes in with this, some, some kind of overseas travel. You've got that Queen of Cups over here. So this is about you feeling a little bit emotionally overwhelmed by what is going on over there. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is very emotional with this Queen of Cups. So this could be, um, you know, uh, somebody that is a bit uh, making you feel a bit depressed or making you feel a bit uh, lonely or isolated uh, from everybody else. Uh, you know, the Queen of Cups tends to feel, they tend to be crying about something. They tend to be a bit depressed about things. But you needn't be because this new project is coming in, this new venture is coming in, a new life is beginning for you there. Uh, so whatever feelings that you have, you need to put it behind you and stop, stop thinking about what happened in the past. You need to take your cup and move on. Um, you need to also start being proactive, uh, you know, Whatever it is that you've been investing your time and effort in, it's going to start paying off over here. You can see he's walking off with this basket full of coins. So he's actually harvesting, uh, you know, whatever he's been putting uh, into a, a particular project or into his career or into his work. So the, it looks like there's a promotion coming in for you there or something that gets you up, uh, you know, gets you the recognition and gets you traveling as well. And it's also going to bring in a lot of finances over there with that seven of pentacles. So something good coming out, all that hard work that you've been doing is starting to pay off or will be paying off for you soon. Now, whatever's been going on uh, with you, it might have been on the, you know, on your personal on personal front, it's not over and done with. Um, you know, you've got this Ten of Swords, you were betrayed, you felt let down, you felt really defeated in that situation. It's over and done with. You are coming up, you are recovering from it with that strength card. So if this was, you know, if this was health issues or you had surgery or some kind of health issue, you will, you know, completely recover from it with the strength card. If it was something, uh, you know, legal or it, it was an emotional breakup, 
uh, or a legal breakup with somebody and you know you, you felt really let down by that person you are starting to recover from it and you're being very diplomatic about how you do things you're not letting your emotions run away with you there you've been extremely stressed out uh, you know whatever's been going on you've been wor expecting the worst case scenario and you're trying to make up your mind about what you want to do as well so you haven't quite done it yet uh, you're making plans you might want to make a brand new start you've got the chariot card so this is about cutting ties and moving on and that's what you want to do you haven't quite gotten there yet you're still deliberating because both these sphinxes are not standing only one is you're in two minds about something so you need to start making decisions and moving on make up your mind and uh, you know take that leap of faith you got that seven of uh, swords over here so you you were really let down somebody really did the dirty on you there and uh, you know they seem to have gotten away with it as well and this is what is keeping you stuck because you can't you're shocked that this even happened to you so you can't get over the fact that they've done this to you uh, you know you can't get over the fact that they have done such a nasty thing to you because the ten of swords is such an awful card it's a card of loss and deceit and lies and not expecting things to happen and could have been the law could have been involved in this situation there and it's still you know you've got some post-traumatic stress going on over there uh, with that seven of swords so they really did get away with whatever it is uh, you know they were really nasty nasty and it's brought in that tower moment as well so something happened that was so devastating and you know it seems like you were kicked out of the situation as well there was a loss of confidence. There was a loss of security. There may have been a loss of home. Uh, you know, something that was so dramatic. And you can see this whole tower is on fire here. So, you know, you there was a lot of financial loss as well that came with whatever this person has been doing. Um, but you've got this Knight of Rods. So you might be thinking of actually, uh, rather, this is the Page of Rods. You, so you're thinking of possibly going starting afresh overseas. Maybe this is what it is. You've been putting your application forms out for new jobs. Um, and, uh, you know, news is coming in over there. So after all the drama, it looks like you're turning your back on all the drama because you can see there's a volcano in the background and this uh, night, uh, this page is turning his back on, on that volcano. So there was some kind of big crisis and that crisis seems to have been this tower moment that happened. You're not turning your back on it and you're making plans and it looks like good news is going to be coming in about that job. And there is that offer and it looks like you're going to be accepted for it. Uh, you got the hierophant over here, whatever you're going to be doing, get some advice. You may need some legal advice to sort through this problem or to sort through this issue. Um, in some decks, the hierophant actually means justice will be served. Uh, but this is also about getting your legal advice and even getting some financial advice um, from somebody to see how you can move forward. Uh, in your hopes and fear, you've got the six of cups there. So you might be thinking of reconciling with this person. You might be waiting for apology. You might be thinking of getting back together with this person. This has certainly been playing on your mind or you're thinking about that. Maybe you're hoping you can re resolve the, the problem that happened. But it seems like, you know, you've got the world card over here, the king of rods, and uh, you've got this... Um, this nine of rods there or rather this is the queen of rods and you've got the nine of rods there so it looks like you're going to end this completely and move on uh there's going to be a lot of travel coming in over there whatever position you're getting you're going to be in charge of people and uh you know you're going to be in the limelight in the spotlight as well uh you are very tired at the moment you've been dealing with a lot of issues over there so time to take a little bit of a break but also if you're taking a little bit of a break make sure you're watching your back um, you know, uh, don't let anybody uh, take advantage of you there with a nine of rods. It's just having a little bit of patience and it's that last hurdle that you have to cross. But things are about to change for the positive over there. So this is about starting a brand new job. You're ending this old job and starting something fresh. And it's going to give you, uh, uh, you know, you've got a sunflower over there. And sunflower is success uh, coming in with that new job. Uh, but it's also going to be uh, in travel. And you're going to be heading that project as well. Uh, and, you know, a lot of travel. So some good news coming in for you there. So there's some kind of big drama going on uh, with you at the moment. And this might be on the personal front over there. Something changes. The energy shifts completely. But a new job is coming in, an opportunity, maybe for something overseas coming in for you. The world also implies, you know, world travel. So something international coming in on that work front. And since you've got, um, you know, you've got that uh, page of ones there, bringing that international news. It looks like that job is on the international front. You'll be working with a lot of people, but always make sure that you watch your back. Don't trust anybody. 
So it's big drama, big change coming in there for you. Now you've got the Three of Water, which is a celebration card. Uh, this is talking about, uh, you know, whatever is happening, there's going to be success that comes in. And you will make new friends as well in this new position that you're going through. You've got the Eight of Earth over there. because skilled work is rewarded. Learning all that there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So this new job might, you know, involve you actually learning uh, new things or, or even doing some further training or further study. Uh, maybe even doing some further research as well with whatever this new job is. You've got the Page of Air. So challenging information delays. Uh, or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. So the pain of air usually brings in something legal. So this could be new contracts that you will be signing. Uh, make sure you're looking at all the, the documentation very carefully. Uh, it's about news. It's about uh, paperwork. So getting, sorting through legal paperwork. This new job, um, you know, shows that uh, you're going to be doing some further learning and you'll be very, very focused on that. And you, this is celebrating that new job coming in. And so, uh, you know, this new month brings in something brand new, good news coming in as far as the work front goes. Even though you're going through all these problems it seems like that's going to come to an end the tower moment brings in big change so there's you know there's something that you have to give up completely uh, whatever it is was not based on on good foundations and perhaps that's why it didn't work out but there's a need for you to put uh, you know end it and just move on there's no reconciliation if that's what you're looking for or you're hoping for it seems like you may be hoping for that with that six of cups but with that ten of swords it says you know everything was so nasty uh, you know, you're just going to have to turn your back and walk away from it and, you know, still watch your back, keep your guard up. Uh, but whatever it is you're going to be doing, there's going to be a lot more freedom and a lot more travel coming in for you there. So I just hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.